Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In today's update, we're going to be talking about a potential severe weather outbreak from March 15th through the 21st. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel and definitely share with your friends on social media. All right, so let's get started. So if, if you were with me, uh, the last two videos, we talked about a a massive storm off the west coast that's going to be developing this week and dumping a lot of rain into california and eventually have a snowstorm into the rockies uh, coming up on friday and saturday but all this is essentially kind of setting the stage for the following week where i think there's going to be a potential of a severe weather outbreak now i went and took the liberty of making my own map uh from the 15th through the 21st, where I think we're gonna have to, we're gonna be under the gun for potential severe weather. So this would basically all this in highlighted red from essentially for a good chunk of Texas, uh, the Dallas Fort Worth area, Austin, San Antonio, just north of Corpus Christi, just north of Houston, north of Baton Rouge, but much of Jacksonville, Mississippi, uh, northern Louisiana pretty much the entire state of uh, Arkansas into Missouri, Illinois, Indianapolis. Uh, unfortunately, Nashville again would be under the gun. So this area, we're gonna have to be watching for a severe weather setup that I think is gonna potentially gonna be unfolding for what would be the middle of the month through the first, uh, the, basically the th week three. So if we take you through the map, uh, here's the latest uh, MJO, which is the Manajuli Oscillation. Um, and you can kind of see this actually rotates into some of the colder phases. Now, this actually rotates into phase eight and, and it kind of gets into one and two pulling some of that uh, colder air aloft. And this is the next uh, two weeks. And uh, but unfortunately, it's March now, so it's not going to have the same effect that it would be if it's uh, if it was, in, you know, obviously in the middle of January. So but it is going to be pulling down some of the colder air and where that's basically to be coming coming from is from uh, the teleconnections will basically tell all. So this is the latest uh, EPO, which is the East, Eastern Pacific Oscillation. You can see it takes a sharp negative dive um, into plunging those colder temperatures. Um, into the U.S. by the 13th and 14th, and this is what's going to create this uh, severe weather outbreak. And where it's basically going to be coming from signifies on the Western, uh, the West Pacific Oscillation, the WPO, because that's also going to go negative by the middle of the month. So this cold origin is going to come from the Northwest or the Western region. And if we take a look at the overall uh, anomaly map, and this puts you at the 12th, so. If we kind of take you back where we are now on the ninth, we it's basically a deja vu setup. Um, we have a developing low pressure on the ninth right now, going to be dumping a lot of heavy rain into California, and that surge out ahead of it is going to be warming the temperatures well into the 70s, if not 80 degrees. But if you take back by Thursday, it's it's almost like a kind of a, a deja vu event where we have another uh, developing trough setting up in the western uh, U.S. and all this is going to do is just amplify the ridge throughout the week and create what could be the potential severe weather setup for the following week. And if we take you out another frame by the 18th, and this is where it starts really getting. Uh, dicey here where we have a major demarcation line as this cold air gets entrenched in the pattern and the mid levels and this warm surge we've got all week long to elevate these temperatures elevate the dew points uh, getting into the 70s and 80s amplifying the jet increasing the high latitude uh, high, higher you know high, high temperatures aloft as well so as this taps into this some of this deep tropical moisture we're going to we're going to have a, a severe weather it's almost this is almost like the classic setup uh for this particular type of event uh coming for uh, what would be around the 15th to the 21st time frame and this kind of shows you it's pretty evident in the anomaly map where you can see this dividing line essentially where these temperatures are easily you know 10 15 if not 20 degrees below normal and out ahead of it we've got the complete opposite like, you know, 10, 15, 20 degrees 
above normal. So it's in that boundary zone and that center part where we're going to be able, we're going to be uh, having those clash in temperatures and creating that severe weather aspect. So what, what constitutes a severe storm? All right. So basically they, they changed this, uh, the national weather service changed it a couple, a couple years ago where, um, so basically there's three types. Uh, if you have a, a hailstone, a one inch or greater, and this also signifies the, the warning, the sirens. So if you've got any of these three criterias, the sirens will go off. So if you have at least a one inch hail, so if you got one inch hail, typically that's quarter hail, and that's not going to really do much damage to property or cars or anything like that. Once you get into, into the, about the 1.75, which is golf ball size hail, that will, that will start to create uh, probably cracks in the windshields and stuff like that. Once you get into the, like the two and a half inch, the 2.75 inch tennis ball size hail, that's when things can start getting pretty dicey and start going through uh, windshields and stuff like that, where it gets really dangerous is when you start getting into the, the four inch uh, category. And that's when it could definitely uh, penetrate uh, even roofs. I know uh, there, there was a Wiley event in Texas about five years ago, uh, of course, it was it was a rare event, but that they got hailstones of 5.25 uh, inches, and it was traveling 122 miles an hour. You got to understand these things come from way up, you know, 50, 60 thousand feet, and they've got plenty of time to to, to pick up speed and a amplify as they fall. So, uh, another aspect would be 58 mile per hour winds or greater. So you got to have those two criteria, and obviously a tornado. So anytime you meet any one of these three criteria, it signifies a severe thunderstorm and it will sound off these uh the warning signals uh to, to alert you now if we take you through the 18th now this kind of signifies and shows you what's going to be happening these are the dew points all right well, i don't really look at this too often but this is going to be prevalent with severe weather and you can gosh you can see this clash i mean we got 60 almost 70 degree dew points out ahead of these, uh, this colder air that's gonna be penetrating into the pattern. And, and you know, 15, you know, five, 15 degrees dew points here. So th this demarcation line is pretty much the classic setup for a severe weather outbreak. And, and as far as temperature goes, this, this, the same thing, the temperature is gonna be re reaching well into the seventies, if not into the eighties, uh, where you're gonna have those, uh, that, that clash and start to create those uh those thunderstorms to create the, the severe weather out activity and if we take you out another frame this is another index i kind of use um a lot which is the the, the k index and this kind of shows you basically the severity of what potentially could happen and this is an index that pretty much basically measures the the vertical temperature lapse rate the moisture content in the lower atmosphere and also the vertical extent of the moist layer. So all that essentially means is with these elevated, you can see in the 30 to 40 range, this area is gonna be under the gun for prime time um, activity, especially with these uh, upper upper uh, air winds, this vertical winds, you can see these troughs digging in and pulling in some of that deep moisture. And this is going to create that, that updraft effect. So this is going to be creating that lift that you're going to be needing for those towering thunderstorms to reach 30, 40, 50,000 feet to create that hail and potentially create those uh, tornadoes, which we don't want. So um, unfortunately, this area will be uh, under the gun. And, and, and in fact, the, the National Weather Service and uh, the Climate Prediction Center has already uh, put out uh, an amplified risk for this area, for parts of uh, Oklahoma into Kansas and especially Missouri into Arkansas, where I think you're gonna be in the bullseye for this event between the 16th to the 20th of the month. And it'll eventually, it'll hit parts of Tennessee and, and into the Ohio Valley. But another culprit of this event would be the heavy rainfall too. So this is gonna be putting out an extensive amount of rain. So not only going to have to be dealing with, you know, tornadoes, uh, damaging winds and large hail, but also a flash flood risk as well, especially with these uh, so soils just completely soaked. And 
here's the latest 10 day rainfall outlook and you can kind of see it's we're, we're under gun yes we, we got california bringing some rain this weekend or coming in this week but this area that i'm kind of highlighting for this particular uh video would be under the gun if not you know seven to ten inches but even some purples are showing up going into over a foot of rain in parts of arkansas so we're definitely gonna have to be paying attention to this i i will be uh going live uh following these storms for you and I'm, i went back and highlighted this map again of this area where i'm going to be concerned about for the 15th through the 21st of the month so i appreciate you guys uh watching and definitely uh, be sure to like this video and share with your friends on uh, social media and definitely uh, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can get notified when I do go live and track these severe storms uh, real time. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching and definitely catch me in the next video where I protect you before and after the storm.